and we're going to have somebody else up here lifting it. And we're going to raise it right up, almost straight up and down. But you guys have to quit pulling when I tell you, okay? Because we don't want to pull it over on you. When it gets high enough, when it gets high enough, I'm going to grab this pole here, the outside one, and I'm going to walk it around. And they're going to all plant into the ground and become the tripod. Okay? It's not, it sounds a lot trickier than it is. So we need these to dig in. Okay? All right, it's coming up. I'm going to tell you when to quit, okay? Okay, quit. Just hold it there. Hold it there. So cool. The, um, no, it didn't slip. It tightened up when we opened the poles. Looked okay? I wasn't watching the knot. It did look great, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, so the How center. Do you know the spacing is correct. Well, you can take a tape measure, but we left our tape measure behind because we sort of do it the native way. Intuition. Okay. <laughs> the canvas actually dictates the size of the teepee. The canvas is about 20 feet in diameter from the front to the back. Because it's an egg shape, it's a little bit narrower on the, on the sides. So, um, so what I'm, and I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys that the teepee isn't as symmetric, it isn't in the sim same symmetry as what you think. You think that you would have one pole at the head of the teepee, two poles evenly spaced on either side, right? That would be your intuition. What we're doing here, here is we're building a door. Okay, the door pole is on this side, the next pole will be here. We're building a door. And the opening of the door lines up with the very back of the teepee, which is where the lift pole, which we've just finished peeling. Is it? Is that it? Is that our new... Okay, so the, the lift pole that we're going to tie the canvas to will sit directly in the back of this. Now when I'm standing here looking directly in the back, I'm seeing our center is kind of off-center. So um, this is a time when you can actually uh, shift, uh, shift everything so that you can get it a little more centered. I would say bring that, you can bring that pole in towards the center a little bit more. Little, yeah, towards the center. Okay, and I'm going to bring this one out a little bit. That's the fire pit. That's, the fire pit. Yeah, that's, our, that's our symbolic fire pit. It might be a little bit big, but at this point we don't need to worry because by the time we get the canvas on, it'll become very obvious if it's a little too big or a little too small, and we can move these poles. Okay, so for now, just ball parking it is good enough. That's still a little far away. That's better. Okay. All right, now we're ready to start putting the frame in. Um, I'm going to go back over to the pile of poles, and I'm going to choose the two narrowest, thinnest, slimmest looking ones for our smoke flaps. And I'm going to set those aside, and then the rest can make the frame. Okay, now I'm hoping they're going to be long enough. I'm just going to assume that lay them side by side. Part is uh, for uh, adults. These are heavy. I'm going to. I want a nice long hole for to build the door. So I think. Those ones are yeah, it, it is. It's super long. Yep. Okay, we'll bring that one around then. Hey, I, I asked that everybody be everybody be aware that these poles could just get out of control when we're.
are putting them up. So kids, please, maybe you kids should all stand off to one side if you want to watch. There'll be things you can help with once we get the colds up. There'll be lots of things you can help with. But I just don't want to have to worry about any little kids getting killed by runaway poles. tripod poles on this size, I put four on this side, and I call that the first group. And then I put four on this side, and I call that the second group. And all those poles fit in the same crotch at the top. Okay? So people who are raising the poles, just remember, the one you're bringing up goes on top of the last one. We need to do it in exactly the right sequence or else they'll be too fat up there and the cover won't fit. Okay, so... so you say sequel, you have a, 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 always a certain direction you must go? Yes. Clockwise? For this Lakota style teepee, yes. the Cheyenne do it a little differently. They're three pole people, but they do it a little bit differently. Their cluster is a little bit fatter. The Lakota, I love the Lakota style because it has a very tight cluster. The way that it's the way they all lay on each other is the smallest diameter cluster of all the all the teepees that I've ever uh, seen. So, uh, and the the thing is, in dry weather, it doesn't matter so much if you've got a big hole in the top. But um, if you're camping for any length of time, you want to keep out as much rain as you can, and you want a nice tight tight clusters so because the rain does come down those poles so okay so for number no, this number one I'm going to call it number two is here number three is here number four is here so we need three more in this side and they go right in the same crotch anybody else want to bring a pole up we get the, the strong foot guy <laughs> what if they were um, for? <laughs> well, he's got these great boots! <laughs> strong foot <now>. Okay! I'm going to hoist some help here. All right. Maybe some help. Oh, oh, no, the, the women can do it! Woo. Yes! All right. We got the next one. Here we go, right into the... Right, into the, right, into the, right on top of the last one, okay? Right on top of the last one. Ease it on, you don't want to shock everything. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. And there's one more goes in here, and then the other one goes around the other one. Okay, top of the other one. The second group, yeah, there's only four here. Yeah. You can, yes, the door is included as number one. Oh. The door, the tripod is, is really weird. You're going to think, oh my god, they're going to fall out. If it looks like that, if it looks like that, it means it's right. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Um, so, okay, now we've got the first group. Now, just to give everybody a little safer feeling, I'm going to bring this rope around. Underneath, lift up, pull it up. Perfect. Okay. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap this rope around here, and everybody can feel comfortable that it's not going to go anywhere. 
Maybe it will go. <laughs> Maybe we'll go out around. Okay. All right. So if somebody could come and just hold on to this, and uh, if you guys want to just hang on to those for a sec, and then when we get when we get yeah, don't pull it. Just sort of keep it there. And 